Hello, and welcome to the stream. Gonna take another bite out of Crash 4, and I said last time I was gonna be starting the relics. I didn't start the relics last time. Uh, I underestimated how long the flashback tapes would take. In fact, we only got through crashes, and we have all of Coco's yet to do. Which, because they're unlocked in sequence, will probably be harder. However, we get new lore. We get to learn about Coco's tragic, dark past. At least, I assume that's what it must be. Because she wasn't in Crash 1. We didn't find out about her until Crash 2. And you know this series has very, very deep, meaningful lore. You play Crash Bandicoot for the story. Uh, I think I mentioned last time I streamed this. I did get 100%. In fact, I got a little pop-up when I started this to test it. I guess it is, uh... It didn't, it didn't want to pop up this time. But uh, there's a secret ending that you get for 100%. So I will check that out once I get all the flashback tapes. Which is our main goal today. Let's see how many of them. There's so many of them, though. It took me a full stream to do from here to the end, which is fewer than is remaining, and these ones, again, I assume are harder. Maybe I'm assuming too much, though. Maybe I'm gonna be proven wrong, and these will be night. Maybe they'll ease into it with Coco. Begin experiment log. New subject. Code name Coco. Oh, it's a code name. Well, oh, that's right. We found out last stream that uh, Crash's full name is Crashworth. Warp room music. I always like this track. More than the Crash 3 warp room music, actually, which they ended up using any time they reused warp music in the series. They always default to the Crash 3 one. You know what? I need a plan before I go down there. What's my plan? Oh, well, I don't need to worry about crates, so actually, I can just do this. That's all I need to do. I was overthinking that. Ugh. Okay. If that rascalian brother of yours had to escape, you wouldn't be all alone. Crash is the real villain here. Oh. So Coco was left behind. I wasn't. I was kidding. This actually is new lore. Crash escaped, and he moved. On, Cortex moved on to the sister. Oh, I didn't get a good view of what was going on up there. Okay. I'm doing good. I want to get this all in one go. I'm going to jinx it by saying that. Okay, there's a checkpoint. Well, on the plus side, this is not nearly as difficult as the last crash level. So it does seem to scale for Coco as it did for Crash. What is that? Why is it glowing? Can I not land on that? No, it's just a weird... It's because of the, that light is shining on it. That red light made it look dangerous.
We don't really get a good view of the skins in this level. Wow, that was almost tragic. I had a perfect run. I did have a perfect run. Almost ruined it just at the end. I was saying we don't get a really good look at the skins in these levels. But I guess we do at the end. So there's that. Dude, I, I guess I didn't do that one. I wonder why I had it unlocked. I just haven't played as it. Engine lore? Test Going right to left now. I think these are my favorite part of the game. These condensed little platforming challenges with new lore and everything. Wait, he's conducting the interview while this test is going on? That's some multitasking. Where'd the interview go? I wanted to hear the rest of it. I don't like these jumps. Oh, maybe I jumped the gun saying it was, uh... It's not gonna play it again because I interrupted the clip. I want to hear about engines qualifications. <laughs> qualifications. That's Qualicoms. All right. If I die again, shut up, phone. If I die again before I reach a checkpoint. Okay, I didn't. I guess we'll just not hear that one. I could look down. I can't. Oh, there's a... There's bounce pads down there. Uh, what is it? There's fire crates down there? Do I want to? I guess these must be nitro crates, so I have to. I have to activate those. Otherwise, I could just go straight down. So, uh, between this and the previous stream I've done. Metroid Dread has come out. Uh-oh. That was a comedy of errors. I'm not a Metroid fan, so I haven't played it and don't really plan to, but uh, it seems to be received very well. People are enjoying Dread. Hello, Darian. How am I going to activate these? It must be a very precise kind of double jump. So I don't know if you... You've probably seen Kadikaris or some other, someone else play through these before. There is, in fact, Coco lore. These are after Crash escaped and Coco moved on to, uh, moved on to his sister.
don't know what Tana's story is. Maybe we'll get Tana lore. Yeah, I'm jumping on these in the wrong order. That's the problem here. Well, maybe I can still salvage this. Yeah, I can just do that. Except now, hmm. Flashback tapes are really just exposition dumps. I mean, in a, in a way. It's, it's, it's a love letter to fans. No one cares about the story in a Crash Bandicoot game. Except us weirdos. And I actually do appreciate... It's, it's cool to see the little uh, inner rim... Inner rim moments. Especially since it is such an unaddressed mystery where Coco comes from. She just appeared in Crash 2. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Uh, hmm. I have an idea. I'm gonna take a risk here. I'll bet I can activate this and make it back down before the nitros appear. I could have if I hadn't hit the other nitros. Anyway, I was saying. Because the Crash 1 intro ends with Crash escaping and then infamously prepare the female bandicoot. Which was not Coco, it was Tana, so. What was she being prepared for? Did she just refuse to participate? Is that why he had to resort to Coco? Because Tana wouldn't wouldn't do the gauntlet? Shame to die to this. You made that look easy. Ill talks. Who has uh, appeared in chat on a couple of the previous Crash streams. Just bought the Insane Trilogy. I rec- oh, I, no, I wanted to change skins. I recommended she start with Crash 2, just because I've known quite a few people who have lost interest partway through Crash 1. Because A, it's the hardest of the three, and B, it's, uh... It's just not really as interesting or dynamic in terms of movement. It's a very basic platformer, Crash 1. You can move and you can jump, and that's about it. What else we got? Eh, Persona. Dino Coco? Well, she doesn't quite look as much a dinosaur as Crash did. I think Crash 2 is the best, like, introduction for someone. It's the most pure platforming. You got all the movement options other than the double jump, but that's... Crash doesn't have a great double jump anyway. 
And you don't get that until late in Crash 3. And Crash 3 is full of vehicle levels and things. This seems so much tamer than the level we just did. Uh, hmm. Oh, wait, had that, why, that's a nitro now, huh? Oh, these are a new type of crate. Okay. Exclusive to the flashback tapes. You jump on them a few times and then they turn into nitros? Weird. But are they metal? I can't tell if they're metal or if I need to turn them to... No, I must need to turn them into nitros. Because then they'll blow up when I hit the nitro switch. Well, that's a little tedious. I watched the uh, fourth Adventure Time Distant Lands episode, which I had understood was the last one, but then it kind of ended with the suggestion that there would be more, so I don't know. Two bounces to Nitro. That actually makes this part easier. Now that I know what they do. There's a lot of bouncing, is all it is. Yeah, this is way easier than the previous one. Okay, uh... Well, I need to get all these down here. Oh, okay, they go from underneath, too. Wait, why did that one... Oh, because it's already half. It's half-primed already. I see. A little trickier, after the checkpoint. I'm assuming I have to turn them all, because they won't be detonated by the nitro detonator otherwise. hair. Cortex knows what's up. I'm fine. We're good. Turned into uh, Kenshiro for a moment there. Wait, how? Huh? Will they change if these blow up on them. How can I activate all of those? Maybe I don't need to turn them all manually. Maybe I've been overworking myself. Unless... No, they can't expect me to go under that. I'm gonna run to the end. 
I'm gonna go straight to the end and see if these will detonate with the nitro thing. I'm just gonna book it. That won't be hard, because I'm, I'm going out of my way to get all the crates, which is why these take a while. Okay, I can see some from here. Okay, I need to turn them manually. Hmm. What a bizarre crate. I'm kind of... I can cheese a landing on one of them with a spin. Even this one just right here is difficult. I, I was immediately made to regret calling this one easy. They wasted no time on that. The part before the checkpoint was just the tutorial. I wonder what these crates are called. Like, everything must have a proper name. There's like a bandy wiki or something. Okay. Got it. <sighs> okay. I see it. I see what they want me to do. A shame that took me as long as it did. Alright, what about these? I get the top ones. And I can go from underneath. You know what? I'll do underneath first, because that's a little riskier. There we go. Now please get all of these. Okay. There's no fanfare or anything when you finish. The music just kind of keeps going. I need like a little Final Fantasy screen or something. <laughs> Floater. We didn't use the Crash version of this skin yet. It looks weird no matter what. They're called Nitro Bounce Crates. Interesting. I Fitting.
Uh, hmm. Heck of a start. Step one, how do I tackle this? Do I really just gotta back and forth very precisely? I hope they don't want me to do that. We had all the Crash 2 music for Coco. That is appropriately. Panda Cub in Brotherhood? Was he like the pet of the little girl? I honestly don't even remember the panda. I remember the little girl, the old man, and what was his name? Ling? And they were not the most memorable characters in and of themselves. Oh boy, this looks fun. Gotta, gotta count bounces. Three for each. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh oh! Okay. That's right, the panda's a cat, and Chopper is a tanuki. Which itself apparently exists in One Piece land. Kind of weird considering how not Japanese it is. I'm sure that peaked. Oh, I didn't get a checkpoint yet. What a mean crate to introduce for Coco. They just immediately resumed her where they left off with Crash. I should have left, uh, I don't have enough jump. I, I need to leave one on the, on the previous. What happened? So, sorry, my uh, TV shut off with the Elgato for a moment there. I had to panic pause. I'm sure, well that's a, that's, that's a common running gag in anime in general. I'm trying to think of other examples of, uh, I'm not an X, I'm a Y. Animals being mistaken. Surprisingly didn't come up in Ranma, despite the number of characters who turn into animals in that show. Why do I do- I keep doing that the same way every time. Counted. I thought I had one more jump down there. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I did it right for once. Uh, I was saying, fans of the series seem to be enjoying Metroid Dread. It is a very difficult Metroid game compared to previous entries, reportedly. That seems to be the thing now, is uh, new entries in old series, except really difficult. Because only us old, old pro gamers are playing them. I never thought I'd have to use strategy in a Crash Bandicoot game. Other than maybe Crash Bash. Of which you may be able to expect highlights in the very near future. I gotta decide what I'm going to uh, watch next. I finished off the shows that I've uh, been running through. I might try Rene, which is the next original IP by the Rumiko Takahashi, the Inuyasha, Rano and Half, Urusei author. God dang it. That trio, that, that stacked trio is what I'm trying to deal with. That was a, that was a gamble I just did without thinking. It is entirely possible we won't finish these today. I'd like to. Doesn't mean I'm going to. the uh, Ultra Hard Croc remake. For all of us uh, Croc super fans who have been waiting for another game. Oh, you're watching Yu Yu Hawkshow show now. High recommendation of mine. Which I know Saucy has watched before. Is this your first time watching it? complex, at least a little bit sympathetic at times. Oh, how do I want to do this? Ah! I guess it doesn't matter whether I have one jump remaining on that or not. I'm just, I'm struggling to make the final jump up to the last one. Did it my first try, the first time I did it. Can't repeat that. 
And the team dynamic can be used great as well. The author in general does uh, very quality work. on this for a while, aren't I? Just that one specific jump. I would say Yu Yu was pretty mainstream at the time it came out. At least in America. Like, generally, the people who had watched Dragon Ball also watched Yu Yu. Roroni Kenshin was on Toonami about the same time. It's alright. Not, not as strong as Yu Yu. I don't necessarily recommend that one as highly. I'm realizing as time passes that uh, well, my opinion of Inuyasha is getting higher as time passes, I should say. At the time, I just kind of considered it another one of the, you know, the mainstream anime shows, same as Dragon Ball or Yu Yu Hakusho or whatever. But there was a good, there was good reason it was on Adult Swim. That show gets very dark, very often. It does not pull punches. And I appreciated that about it. And it's especially weird given that it's from, you know, a comedy author. You go from something like Ranma that's basically a romantic comedy into a historical fiction where you just see, you know, battlefields lined with skulls every episode. And weird demonology shit. Pacing could have been better. I mean, as far as the actual story progression goes, it's pretty sluggish in Inuyasha, but... The dealing with uh, Japanese folklore and things like that. It was and is and remains very interesting. To me. still forthcoming. Uh, I have been working on submissions for a voiceover competition, which Darian is aware of. I've been doing that all week, and that's been eating up most of my time, so now I have time to resume other projects. Ah, every time I hit my head on that! This, this is the level. This is going to be the stream. This is the, where we get stuck for an hour. Every stream has one of those. I like that Kagome is a very secret badass in Inuyasha. Like, at a glance, yes, she's just an ordinary schoolgirl. She acts like an ordinary schoolgirl. But she's acting like an ordinary schoolgirl in a, a fucked up, demon infested feudal Japan. She's, she's suggesting picnics in a battlefield littered with human skulls. That's pretty badass. Also, Monica Story did a great job voicing the character.
probably one of the most believable voice actress performances I can say I've heard in anime. And it's a shame she kind of stopped doing anything after that. Maybe she moved on to greener pastures. Maybe she went into, like, movie acting or something. She had, uh, she had Kagome, she had some bit roles in Ocean dubs, and that was pretty much it, as far as her voice acting goes. And then she was replaced by the time that, uh, Inuyasha final act came around. And the Boruto, Yashihime, which Jack and I watched one episode of, and have not yet continued. Not that I'm not interested in continuing it. There's just other stuff we're watching that I'm more interested in at the, this second. Every time. Has Hunter Hunter come up? Ob obligatory question with Yu Yu Hakusho in, in, in the conversation. I, kn I know Saucy has watched it. I don't remember... I think she didn't finish it, if I remember correctly. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Is that a thing? I saw that title on a YouTube video, and I didn't know it was the name of, like, a new Dragon Ball animation. So, no, I've not seen it. The whole movie's in entirely CG? Ugh. They're really pushing what they can get away with now, with Dragon Ball. This is a test of what will people buy. Can we make a whole movie just CG and people will, will pay us for it, is the question. And if they do, which they probably will, we can probably expect more of it. I've criticized Super pretty frequently as being a cash grab. Save that. Uh, two, three. Yu Yu Hakusho was one of those anime that I recommend everyone to watch. I keep like three of those. But I've considered replacing it with Hunter x Hunter in my recommendations. It's really hard to compare the two. Hunter's a bit, Hunter's more freeform with the world building. The Hunter Hunter universe is a lot like, uh... Not, e not even the One Piece universe. There's some anime that just kinda do whatever with their worlds. They keep it very open so that they can, you know, write whatever kind of arc they want and get away with it. Whereas something like Naruto or One Piece or even Bleach kinda have themes and, and consistent aspects to their setting. I generally prefer that, if a series kind of has an established setting and knows what it is. Hunter is quality enough that I can forgive it, though. <sighs> Dragon Ball always kind of skirted around that in weird ways. Dragon Ball Original didn't give a fuck. They... You, you, there was just weird, magical locations all over Dragon Ball Earth. In the first Dragon Ball series. And then it kind of got more tame as the series went on. By Dragon Ball Z, everyone was either in Kami's Lookout or Kame House. And the rest of the planet might as well have just been cities and wasteland. Good old wasteland. Why did I, I just... I realized my mistake just now.
I was gonna say, uh... Later Dragon Ball kind of skirts it by introducing Otherworld. There was some weird, weird kind of environments in filler arcs in Otherworld. GT got around it by opening up to the entire universe, alien planets and whatnot. And then Super went the alternate universes route. They kind of just ran out of the interesting places on Earth after Dragon Ball Classic, I suppose. around the Red Ribbon Army coming back again? Was this the fifth time now? So what? what is... Dragon Ball Super Superheroes. Is it a movie? Is it an ONA? Is it a proper TV anime? And for, well, it must be like a movie or a TV special or something, because the sound of it, it's not at all based on the, the later arcs of the Dragon Ball Super comic that weren't animated yet. not androids. They're, uh... Oh, what's the... Machine mutants. That's what they were called in GT. Alien robots. And you know, that would that was, that was new for Dragon Ball. I like the GT did new things. GT good, super bad, blah, 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 blah. So they're just... Are they just cycling, then? through, like, the, the Z stuff. I guess we had the Broly movie. That was not dead. Because we had Frieza. We had a Frieza movie. Now we're having a, a Android Red Ribbon movie. Are we going to have an unfinished business with Boo movie after this one? Broly is in it, too. Interesting. I did it! Okay, I've caught back up to the first time I played this level. Now I just gotta keep it, keep it up. I gotta not die. Have I gotten this far? Maybe I didn't get this far. Oh god. Okay, let's stop. Let's see what we're doing. I need to set that off. Let's do that before we continue this way. Is this the end? No, that's a checkpoint. That's also amazing, though. About fucking time.
Now they say Broly is canon now because you know, the movie was written by Toriyama or whatever they used to defend him now being canon in Super. Is he? Oh, he's he hasn't shown up in the comics though, right? In the manga. So is he only going to be? Is he going to be limited to uh, spin-offs in movies like this? Is my question. Is he only canon to the non-canon movies now? Pans in the movie? Okay. I mean, that's fine, I guess, but it's not GT Pan, so who cares? There's Pan, but then there's my Pan. Current Pan's gonna be, what, like two? Oh boy, what are we doing? How do we do this? Maybe... Can I detonate all of these? Get those and then make it back up somehow. How far ahead is the, is the end of the level? Well, there's a TNT I need to cross over there, so that can't be it. Am I overthinking? Do I just need to spin them? They don't want me to jump between those nitros, do they? They can't expect that. There's no way that's what they want. I guess... I might just have to spin. Seems like the safest option. Safest option! Spin on the way up. Note for future self. Those the nitro will blow those up. Screw that noise. Okay. I'm gonna bounce, I'm gonna spin. I'm just gonna have to do it twice, I guess. Yep, that's how they want you to do it. like bowls of milk. Uh, hmm. I gotta put my thinking cap on. Be smart, Brog. Crate puzzles in Crash Bandicoot. Well, this, I may have just made more difficult for myself. How do I get, get down there? Oh god, that's so much progress lost. There's so many steps of this puzzle to figure out. I liked, I liked when it was just testing platforming. Now I gotta think too. I'm okay at that, but it's not fun to watch on stream. You know what would be cool? I think I've said this before. I think I said this on a previous stream. In fact, I think it was in our Crash Bash streams. I'd like a Dragon Ball movie that's just a tournament. 
No one invades. There's no big drama, no big bad guy. Except maybe, I, I don't know, maybe there's someone at the end of the tournament. But it's just a tournament. I miss just having just tournaments. There's a tournament of power, obviously, but... Super did do tournaments. They brought tournament arcs back. Tournament arcs, the best part of any anime. Dragon Ball Classic and Yu Yu both showed that. Okay, I need a plane here. I was going to set this off in order to detonate the nitro. You know what? I can still do that. I just have to be smarter about it. There we go. And now... Ah! Man! That's not good. Uh-oh! Hmm. Well... And have a bit of a bind here. I have to do this perfectly now. I didn't do it perfectly. I missed the first box. Well, I have an idea of what I need to do. It still sucks, but I think I know what I need to do at least. No! So, uh, maybe two streams of Coco flashback tapes. I keep wanting to get through the rest of this game so that I can start the relics. I, I want to do the relics all at once. Not like a single stream, but I want to finish everything else before I start those. And it keeps taking longer and longer to finish everything else. You like to imitate silly voices, Darian. Any any that you've uh, been able to do from Yu Yu yet? That was an early Funimation dub. Dragon Ball Z was their first, if I remember correctly. And then Yu Yu Hakusho and Fruits Basket, the original, came down the line pretty much immediately after. And I know this because they had they shared note for note almost the entire same cast. Okay, let's spin. Now I can spin. Now I can figure out my plan. I need to bounce to the right. Across all this stuff. And I only get one bounce on everything. Uh-oh! I did it. I did it! Ah, screw this level! This level sucked. I did it as a blow-up doll. Why did I make that choice? Kuwabara is just Yajirobe turned up to 11. He's a good voice, though. He's fun. Mammal manipulation. Geometry Warrior. I guess that's not copyrighted. How many have we... We only done four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're not even halfway there. We've only been going for an hour, though, so... Have you ever watched original... Oh, here, let's listen to Engine for a moment. That's it. That's all he has to say. Okay. Have you ever watched original Dragon Ball? Or just uh, Z and Super? I wish I knew what these were going to be before I activated this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do these, and then this, and then I'm going to go over. Okay, these are just boxes. I see.
pretty much everyone in the Dragon Ball franchise is an antagonist when they get first introduced. And I love how le how late Ah, the last place I could have fucked up. That's okay. This one is very easy so far. I can't wait to see how the second half destroys me. Uh, I love how late Yajirobe is in the crew. He's like what the last recurring character to be introduced in OG Dragon Ball. And at that point, Goku is pr pretty a very strong contender. He's already taken out the Red Ribbon Army. Fought Tien, martial arts master, spent like his entire life dedicated to the craft. To a draw, arguably a victory, depends on who you ask. And then he just he, he's he's being attacked by King Piccolo's at the time literal demons. And he runs into this random fuck mountain man who's as strong as everyone else in the series so far. I love that. I love that he's just some dude in the mountains, and he's one of the strongest characters at that point in the show. That's amazing. Should I have done that? Should I have done that? I shouldn't have done that yet. Okay, I see what it wants there. Very early checkpoint. Very generous. Oh, I got a belly flop. Okay, that's fine. The nitros will blow those up. What is this? Is this a this is the jetpack level music, I believe. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, the bounce! That's fine. I don't mind this level at all, actually. This is super... This is way easier than the previous one. There's no comparison here. I have to time the spin just right, because if I do it too early, I'm going to detonate the nitros on the wall. The weird, uh, weird bug with the, the butt stomp animation in that little corridor. I, I did I still did the bounce, but I was faster that time. Yeah, that took no time compared to the previous one. That was easy. I'll bet we could do this in one session. We can get into all the Coco ones. I'm jinxing it by saying that. We still have the hardest ones yet to do, in theory. Stellar bunny. That's supposed to be like a space pirate? I don't know where that look comes from. Replacement considerations. What? I'm, excuse me, is Coco not good enough? Oh yeah, D Yusuke is famously Justin Cook. More of his default voice. Raditz is just Yusuke yelling. I actually missed, uh... If this doesn't work out, I'll have to 
Damn it. I missed big chunks of Dragon Ball Z when it was airing. So when I played the games, I had no idea who Raditz was. I completely missed the entire introduction of the series. I knew about Vegeta and Nappa, because that arc took forever. It was really hard to miss the, the entirety of the Saiyan saga. Because every saga in Dragon Ball lasted so long. Oh boy, I okay, I need to do some spinning there. I missed Raditz, I saw the Saiyans, I saw Namek. They probably reran a lot, those first two arcs, because of the multiple dubs. There was the Ocean Dub, a funny dub in line with the Ocean Dub, and then a funny redub later down the line, I believe. I might have that wrong. That is very difficult to time. I gotta do the spin on my way up again. That's how I, that's how they want me to do it. Somehow I missed the entire Android and Cell arc. I think I knew it was there. I, th I think I knew who Cell was when I played the games. But I had no idea who, tr who the adult Trunks was. I was like, that's weird. Why are they calling the... Why are they calling him Kid Trunks? That's the only... That should just be Trunks. That's the only version of Trunks, isn't it? I had no idea that there was an adult version that appeared first. That's how we do it. Spin on the way up. Always spin on the way up. Like how you always cut away from yourself. I failed to do it that time, though. Got into it thanks to Kai. I don't think I could ever watch Kai. Mostly because of Gohan. I can't not hear Luffy. It's it's just, it's too, it's the same voice. I, I need Stephanie, not only Gohan. I can't handle Brina Palencia Gohan. So what did you watch it on? Wasn't it on, wasn't it on both Nicktoons and Disney XD at different points in time? and with different amounts of censorship? Or did they both have blue popo? Get up. Come on, Coco. Okay. We're good. Chris Harris Frieza. Yeah. I, mean, I, I admit that it's more fitting to the Japanese voice. It's purely just what I grew up with. When I think Frieza, I still hear hear Linda Young in my head. Who you now know is Genkai. Yusuke, you little shit! Just, it's just full of those moments like that, isn't this? Oh, God! How, how do they want me to do that? It was on Nicktoons and Adult Swim. It was on Adult Swim eventually, wasn't it? I forgot they, uh, I forgot they got Dragon Ball Kai. There was a slow process 
of Adult Swim gradually obtaining all of the major anime licenses. They always had Bleach. I think after that they got One Piece. And then once uh, Disney let go of Naruto Shippuden, they jumped on that. And, event and then Dragon Ball Kai. And then later Super, of course. I believe four kids just dud did the uh, editing at that point in time. Like, there wasn't a separate dub of uh, Dragon Ball Kai. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe they were just doing TV edits of the, uh, the Funimation dub. Or otherwise working with Funimation and the Funimation actors. I don't think 4Kids has been dubbing their own stuff for quite a while. I don't know what I thought would happen there. Who else is, is uh, shares voices between Yu Yu and Dragon Ball? It's a lot of them, obviously. And this is the OG Dragon Ball dub. Uh, Karama is John Bergmeier, who is the voice of Tien and has become one of Funimation's main ADR directors. Chuck Huber, Hiei. Also, Pilaf, Garlic Jr., Android 17. Cynthia Kranz is uh, Botan and Chi-Chi. I actually didn't realize that for the longest time because Botan is so nice and likable and Chi Chi isn't. Young me was like, ugh, those can't be the same person. Why did I belly flops? Her Jerry Jewel. Oh, that's right. He is. Which which Shenron was that? Was that one of the? Was that the Sun Shenron? Jerry Jewel is Suzaku of the Saint Beasts, man of a thousand voices, who in Dragon Ball does. He's all. He's a. Uh, he's actually a few voices. He's Suzaku and he's Jean, in Yu Yu Hakusho. Do whatever you want with it, Gene. Also, Nom, the Indian fella in Dragon Ball. Barry the Butcher in Full Metal Alchemist. And you get to hear him sing one of the outros to Yu Yu Hakusho. I believe it's the third one. He's apparently not confident in his singing voice. I think he sounds nice. I think you did a good job, Jerry Jewel, who will never watch this. He's the ice one, Toya? Well, he's also Gene. If he's Toya, then I wasn't aware of that, but he is definitely Gene, the wind fella. Keep it up. Oh, 
Oh, he did do Dragon Ball Kai, didn't he? He doesn't have a lot of roles these days, Jerry Jewel. I think a lot of the uh, a lot of the OG Funimation crew are uh, being phased out. Or they they have been over time for quite a while. Toguro, Damian Clark. Oh, the Ice Shenron. Okay, I see. Uh, Damian Clark, voice of Perfect Cell. In original Dragon Ball, he did not return for Kai. He was also voice of Scar in original dub, but not Brotherhood. Scar and Alphonse and a bunch of voice actors from the first Full Metal Alchemist series were replaced in Brotherhood. It was a shame. I really, I love Damian Park's voice. He does a great, uh, deep villain voice. Tagura was Damian Clark, and he, uh, he was also in a live action movie. He was in How to, ironically, the voice of Scar was uh, the main character in How to Be a Serial Killer. Aaron Dismuke, the voice of uh, Alphonse in the original dub, was replaced since he was a child voice actor and he hit puberty, so he couldn't do the, the young Alphonse voice anymore. Oh, he's, uh, he's Handsome Jack in Borderlands. I actually thought he had, uh, just stopped doing voice acting. Maybe he just didn't like, uh, maybe he didn't like doing anime. Maybe he didn't like the pay rates or something. He left, he didn't take the role of Scar back. And I think he left the role of Perfect Cell for a while as well. Like, he wasn't Perfect Cell in DBZ Kai, was he? But he came back for later video game appearances? I think he's back doing it again, and he's now voicing Cell in the video games. There we go. Oh, threaded the needle. Well, now you can go back and watch our stream of the Yu Yu Hakusho game on PS2 and know what it's about. It wasn't a great, it wasn't a, a fantastic game. It was ambitious, it had good ideas, not the best execution. It also included just straight up clips from the show, which was cool for a game of the time. No, other games, other anime games didn't do that. I don't think I ever beat it. 
Toguro was impossibly difficult. As you would expect him to be. He's fucking Toguro, but... What do I want? Do I want to hit these first? I don't know. I'll, I'll not. I'll, I'll not by default. Okay, I, I do need to activate those for the... Ah! I probably needed that. I did need that. Maybe I can bomb jump my way up. No, that didn't work. Do this the safe way. Like the grocery store. There we go. Oh boy, what is this? We did an anime night of just a bunch of random anime games because we didn't really know what else to do with them. I was thinking about uh, shoving those together into a highlights reel. Opinions on Nick All-Stars? I just didn't really have fun playing it. It feels like you can't re it has a, it feels like it has a much higher skill floor than Smash does. It's not very accessible to me. Sheik in uh, Smash Brothers has a reputation for requiring a very complex combo game and having not a huge reward for it. Every character in Nick game kind of felt like that to me. Like, I just couldn't do anything at all unless I took the time to lab them beforehand. I would need, like, a Rivals of Aether-style tutorial where I can learn the ins and outs of each character beforehand and probably only play one or two characters in order to have even just a basic competence at the game. And there's also, we found there were a lot of like UI shortcomings when we streamed it. You can tell that it was rushed out for the, the release window. So I'm hoping they continue to uh, they continue to give it love and patch it and improve the game because uh, it needs a little bit more. I don't think I'll recommend it for Jack. I don't know if he ever had any interest in the game in the first place, but uh, maybe I'll stream it again. I guess it did. I think they have announced there will be more characters. Nick was talking about, like, uh, data leaks and, I think, official announcements that there would be more to come. Some characters were not able to be finished in time for the game's release window. I don't know if there'll be DLC, if there'll be free updates or what, but uh, I guess probably, probably like Smash when new characters come out. I, I might go back to the game. Just give it a little exhibition stream. No, no, it's technology. Look at her. She's a, she's a robot. She's very technological. Oh boy. That's not gonna blow up. No, that's not gonna reach. Okay.
I don't need to stay there. I can make that jump. I'll just do this. This is Robo Coco, which means her uh, platforming will be perfect. Infallible! And she will get through this on the second attempt, because even robots make mistakes. Did they confirm who the characters are? Or are those just leaks? I know about the data mines. Nick already told me about those. So I, I know who the characters supposedly are. Oh, I need to get up there. I can still get up there. Was I on a timer though? Do I have, I do have something below me. Okay, uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. I can still do this. Actually, I don't even need to... Okay, I do need to detonate the thing. So I do need to... The fruit don't matter in these levels. I just need to worry about getting the crates, which, uh, as long as nitros will blow them up, that's good enough. You can slide on TNTs in this game before they go off. You usually can't do that in Crash games. typing in uh, Crash 4 into Twitch. And one of it, the second title suggested was uh, Wrath of Cortex. Actually, you know, I know why that is. It's because it's the Japanese title. If I remember correctly, all of the Crash games have been numbered in Japan. Oh boy. Can I get up there from here? Maybe I can, I can do this, okay. Which means in Japan, there was Crash 4, The Wrath of Cortex, and this was, th this also must have been called Crash 4, right? They didn't change the title in Japan? I guess there's just two Crash 4s over there. Man, I'm right at the checkpoint. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, that's fine. I can still... I can still bounce down from here, I believe. Yeah, I'm good. That part is actually pretty forgiving in terms of the order that you can do it in. How's, uh, how's Sonic Adventure 2? You still in the middle of that? Did you give up on it? There we go. Is is this lore? Is is Enjin her teacher? Is there a Phantom of the Opera situation going on here? The forbidden love between Coco and Enjin, teacher and student. Now, 
I don't need to detonate those. There's a nitro. There should be a nitro switch at the end of this. Uh, was there something up there I need? I do need to get up there, though. Well, shoot. Uh-oh. Man. I wonder if they fixed the major issues with uh, Sonic Colors. The switch, the switch port that everyone was complaining about, you know, dying from seizures in. That little issue. And other various gameplay bugs. A lot of unfinished games being put out on the Switch. I guess that's not new for PC, but it's new for Switch. New for Nintendo, I should say. Well, I mentioned the... I'm half-joking. I, I make the joke about the the Coco engine ship. Because I believe it's from Crash Tag Team Racing. There's a voice line where Coco mentions that she thinks engine is cute. Or at least that his walk is cute. Which isn't exactly the same thing, no, but... Uh-oh. Oh, I almost did a bad thing. Hmm. This is, uh, this is my weakness, is precise angled bounce box jumps. I'm about to die here. Let's try it. Ah! Maybe if I just start on just the very edge. Oh, this is the, this is the Cortex boss music. Bounce! There we go. Which we already heard mixed into Cortex's music. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Ow, she says. I wonder is so... So the other Crash games. Wrath of Cortex... Uh, tag Team Racing included. Those are, are those all just removed from the timeline now? Because infamously, there's that line in this game where, oh no, we've, we've only fought him three times before this. So it seems like they retconned the other games out of existence, or at least into their own little timeline. I'm curious if we'll get another Crash game after this. I'm curious how successful this game was. Because it is very heavily set to appeal only really to diehard Crash fans. This is this is not a game to introduce new people to the franchise. No way of that. It seems like it would have a pretty limited audience, but I don't know, maybe it was successful. Also, obligatory question every time we play this game is whether it means we'll get a Spyro for. Uh, 
Okay, get these. And then I can just go over here. This is nice and safe. Always watch explosions from a safe distance. Okay, I have a little breathing room this time, because that crate is still there. Never mind. I don't like this jump. It's so finicky whether it wants to bounce you or not, too. There we go. Maybe I can just not activate the TNT. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. That seems like a good idea. Let's delay this explosion as long as possible. That's a good plan. So Enjin is just the Dr. Jero of Cortex's castle. Like, he was there the whole time. We just You just didn't see him when Goku invaded the Red Ribbon Army. But he was really mad that he did it. Subject 372. It's an axolotl. Okay. I think we, we're definitely going to finish this. I can do these two. We're only an hour 40 in. Finish this in great time. I say before getting stuck on the final one for two hours. See, if I constantly reference the fact that I'm jinxing it, then that unjinxes it. That's how this works. That's a thing in this game, the slide spin. She does like a little kick. To my knowledge, that was not in the original trilogy, or even the, the remakes. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a lot to... I never feel more like Jack than I do in these levels. There's a lot of times I just need a, a, a point to stop and take in my surroundings. And they're not giving me that. They really don't want to give me that. Oh boy, what is that? That's one of the red crates. One of the timer crates. Well, I don't, I don't need that. This is also, I, I just noticed this is one of those cases where the, the stuff on the level doesn't reset when you reset the level. So the timing's off. Th those crates aren't gonna go off at the same time every time I restart the level. I'm getting lucky with them so far, though. Uh oh. No, I want to learn. I want to hear about Doctor Entropy. Man. See, we saw this in the first one. If a voice line gets interrupted by me dying, it just doesn't play again, so we just don't get to hear it. That's why I'm, I'm kind of stopping and waiting for voice lines when they happen. Next time, perhaps. Too bad. What was this? This was the engine fight music.
I bet I can go higher with a crouch double jump. Which I don't think that was the thing in the original trilogy either. I think you had to choose between the crouch jump or the double jump. You couldn't do both at once. Tiny, that's right. I recognize it. Hmm. What is this gonna do when I hit it? I wish I could see down. I don't like that I can't see down. Okay. Uh don't like this. I'm not happy about what's in front of me. Death. Boy, that's some timing. I didn't set- that's right, I need to set this send off. I was wondering why it wasn't appearing. That's also part of the reason I like Crash 2 more than 3, I think, is the, uh, the theme. As I mentioned before. I'm usually more drawn to things that have a, a single consistent theme. Whereas Crash 3 was all about time tri Tom Tom travel. Time travel. So it was just kind of a disjointed mess of a of a big random assortment of themes. Good for variety, I guess, but not really as much to latch on to, I feel. I guess the final Smash character wasn't announced the last time I streamed this, was it? We're now living in a uh, all Smash Ultimate characters have been announced world. Spoilers, it's Sora. Which I think is cool. Not someone that I'm super attached to. But I'm happy any time a highly requested character gets in, just because it's nice to feel like they're listening to the fans. It doesn't always feel that way with Smash Brothers. Some would say it rarely feels that way. I, like many, was so confident about Crash because he seemed to just fit all of the... All, he hit all the right notes for what would make a good Smash inclusion. But alas, I honestly wonder if maybe uh, maybe Nintendo approached Activision and Activision just said no and that was all it was. Maybe that's why we got Min Min or Byleth. I specifically would say Byleth is, is the outlier, is, is the weak choice, especially as the final pick from a pack. Pick a pack. Ending the first DLC pack on a Fire Emblem Sword character. That was a big balls move, Mr. Sakurai. Mm. 
massive cojones. That's still just a guess, mind. I, I have no basis for the... Oh, hello. Okay, that was weird. I don't know what that interaction was. Let's get rid of the fire. Let's do that. No, okay. I, I, got, I got rid of them. Well, mo most of them. Not a great pattern. And I gotta do this again? Okay, we're good. We made it. What's coming next? I gotta set that off. These will have to be activated at some point. What's up here? Hmm. I bet I can go over here and make it back. I can scout ahead a little bit. Not a lot, though. Four, five. Will those be nitros? If not... Will that not blow up the top TNT, I wonder? Maybe I need to be mid-jump as it goes off. Or, no, I can just jump up here again. That's what I can do. I was overthinking. Yeah, I needed to be up here. Okay. Just gotta do it once. We gotta take our time, do it right the first time. Oh, really? You want me to do that? They want me to slide under them. I was hoping that I could get rid of the... I could get rid of the those first. Wow, in the main game, they only ask you to do this with the slowdown mask. I, I have my one little tile space in which I can crouch. Okay, what am I doing? I guess I should set this off, right? Nope, I shouldn't have set that off. Aw, now I don't get the voice line! Why can't it play right? Why can't- why's it gotta be bugged? Okay, uh, what are those? How do I- What do you want me to do, game? So I get over there. Am I gonna have to come back? What is this section? Okay, I'm here now. Now what? Hmm. Get rid of that. If I... Wow, this is a puzzle. I can spin... Maybe I can just spin the top one. Will that activate... Will the, the nitro dropping onto the TNT activate it while giving me enough time to get away? Am I missing something really obvious here? I feel like I'm missing something obvious. I don't want to blow that up until those are activated. 
which I assume is that crate right there. So I need to find a way to detonate that. Maybe it's the one on the right. Okay, that's my new game plan. I will activate the one on the right, is what I'll do. Okay. Oh, there's another Nitro Bounce Crate over there, too. Now, did that... That didn't activate those. What did that activate? Anything? Oh, it activated these. Oh, I don't like where those are positioned. This is, uh, wow, this is quite a section, and this is only the second to last one. Do you think you could legally count forcing someone to complete this game as a form of torture? Do you think that would hold up in court? How am I gonna get that down there? Maybe the nitro will blow that up. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't need to worry about that so much. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Those are finally active. I should have been paying attention to the dates. We could see how long Crash's first adventure canonically took. Imagine the potential with Crash Maker. This is a Crash Maker level. Hello, Jack. Uh, yes, as of Crash 4, Crash has a whole Kaizo game. Uh, this is not one of the main levels. This is part of a bunch of bonus levels that you can unlock by being good enough at the main game, and this is one of the very last ones of them. This game is ball-grippingly difficult at points. I think I'm on the last two. I think I can finish this within another hour at most. You know, it's just an hour for two levels. It's not bad, right? or I'm going to get scorched. I've been talking about uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, which Darian has started watching with Saucy. And you don't get any of the mask mechanics. You don't get anything special. It's just crates and jumping. I wanted to bounce on them, but they bounced, so I couldn't bounce. I got so far in this level, and now I, I can't just get through this. I got through this gauntlet on my first try. 
Like this whole section. I was real slow and careful and I did it once and now I can't replicate it. Maybe it wasn't my first try, but I, I didn't take this long on it. Jack, did your uh, did your brother ever watch more of JoJo? I remember you guys left off just at the end of part two, right? At least when he was down here. Okay, I'm over here now. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not set up for a uh, voice call on console. It's kind of a headache. I feel like that's my best opening for getting those. Because it's gonna be hard to hit the hit the timing switch and jump up there in order to do a belly flop. You know what? I bet I could get you on voice if you want to. You still up for it, Jack? It's really like a like a, a particularly mean Mario Maker level. Next death, I will, uh, I'll get Jack on voice. Uh-oh. That was very bad timing. Well, I gotta worry about the nitros bouncing, I gotta, gotta worry about the fire crate, and also that, the red switch running out. Okay, I gotta do some weird stuff for, uh, console plus voice. Also means that I will lose game audio, so I won't get to hear the uh, charming tidbits of lore. I joke, but I actually do like the, the little bits of lore we're getting.
Um. Ah. Hello. Sorry, I, I just realized I needed water before I started. I'm like, oh no, and then I was leaving, and then you. Uh... <laughs> nah, That's all right. I'm, I'm here. I'll. Uh... Yeah. Sorry, I I I, uh, I slept in because uh, I had two back to back eleven hour shifts because people called out at work. Oh yeah. How many are you down to? Uh, a bit. I. Hold on, I gotta mute the, uh, I gotta mute, uh, YouTube. We can hear Double Jack for a second. Hold on, I gotta mute the, uh, I gotta mute, YouTube. We can hear Double Jack for a second. Double me. Triple me. How many me's can we get up to? Double me. Triple me. I'm remembering that time that Purple Rain, uh, Chocolate Rain singer tried to stream and he didn't realize that he was echoing. And, uh, it just... He, it just was just cacophony of him just talking. There was a video that I don't remember what show it was on. It might have been Tosh.0. Or maybe it was America's Funniest Home Videos. Of a guy singing, uh, like a four-part quartet using only his VCR and a recording on a VHS. And I've never it's been awesome. able to find it since. It was really impressive. Yeah, it, well, it sounds like it, too. Like, using depreciated v VCR technology. So I'm a bit behind. Uh, I'm gonna be reacting a bit. Uh, yeah, there's... delayed to that. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, this is ad hoc. So yeah, I slept in because because uh, I was checking for till like midnight. I, I went I went in 12:30, and then uh, my bosses were like, "Hey, we, you think you could stay till 12:30? Am I checking? I could do it." And then. Uh, and so, so I did that, and then the next day they're like, Hey, you want to do that again? And I'm like, okay. Too bad. This looks tough. It's become a weird trend for you to just kind of wander in at the end of Crash games. It happened weird. with Crash 2, and it happened with, uh... You came out for a bit of Crash 3, when I was playing a Coco Jet Ski level. Do you remember that? I think that was when I worked late at... Was that when I... You you sounded we still just, in you sound really t uh, just out of it during that stream. You must have been exhausted. I, yeah, yeah, that, that's true. I'm better now though. I uh, I'm on uh, I'm on some uh, medication for my uh, type two diabetes and it's been working out pretty well. Uh, I had the energy to do it and then, but by the end of the last shift, I was like more tired than I thought. I'm like okay. Oh, I'd imagine two 11 hour shifts. That's fine. I, I I made a lot of uh, a lot of overtime. That's that's good. I'm I'm like at seven hours of overtime. So, oh man, that this looks this looks like rough. They got pretty rough just towards the end of Crash's levels, and now Coco's got her own set of levels. Oh yeah, you're playing as Coco. Yeah. Coco begins. You joke, but it actually is that. This is the first time we're getting any, like, uh, there's, like, little voice clips with the lore of what Coco was doing during Crash 1. Because she just kind of appears in Crash 2. Oh, this is this is a retcon. Yes. And she's being tortured by Neo Cortex, huh? Damn. That's rough, just being fucking tortured by Neo Cortex. I, I guess this counts, yeah. Being made to play these levels. Yeah, you're you're he's he's he becoming he's become GLaDOS. GLaDOS, does this does this enough to uh, please you? Please answer me, GLaDOS. I want you to share your technology. Oh no, is that freak still trying to court me? won't get my robot booty. What was the cross? It was a Lego game. GLaDOS met HAL. HAL 9000. Oh, did they, did they, uh, did they get married? <laughs> uh, no. It was, it was a very strange conversation, though. Because HAL, he was just trying to complete his mission, whereas GLaDOS was more, I want to say, independent. Yeah, she had more of a personality. A sadistic personality, but... Yeah. Can you imagine a masochistic AI? What would that be like? Uh... Does this game software count? 
masochistic? Ah, okay, this is sadistic. Portal yeah. 2 coming eventually. We just start that after we finish uh, Super Liminal. Yeah, once we, uh... Whether we have to stream... With, whether we can stream it or we have to do another recording. Recording, you can edit it, I guess. Add, add in, like, little gags or something. I found, uh... Someone online suggested that, uh... It f was fixed for them by recording to the system hard drive and not a not a storage drive. So I'm trying right. that, and hopefully the issue doesn't happen again. Cool. You should do a you should do a big test recording. Well, the, the we have to emulate the results exactly because I think it'd be ooh. First time I've been here. Oh, I'm behind a bit. That's okay. Oh God, how do I do? Okay. This is like, this is a puzzle. I've never had to puzzle in Crash Bandicoot before. We are talking about if there was a Crash Bandicoot maker. This is the kind of levels we would get. Oh, I see. Maybe you have to go... Oh, wait, there. what now? Uh-oh. Did I not think this through? It should be broken, right? Or, oh... Plan ahead enough. Too bad. I don't know. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I can't help you. I love. I, I just love that. Just like I, I can't help you. That was the Steve Wilco show, right? Yeah, Steve Wilco. Who just was like. It was a show just entitled, I Can't Help You. Okay. That's, that's so, just supposed to be more... Anyway, go on. No, I'm just... I'm, I'm thinking aloud. I need to activate that down there in order to get across it all, is the thing. So, okay. I have an idea. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't have an idea. Maybe if I only break one of these. Can I make that, though? Barely. Embryo, the revival drawn. I knew the final ones were going to be difficult, but I breezed through the one immediately before this, so I didn't think it'd be quite the wall. The wall, brother. <laughs> it's the wall. It's the wall, brother. If you want some, come get some. It's the wall. Ooh, yeah. Uh, so I finished reading the uh, witch comic. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one you showed me a picture of it where it's like, "Hey, look at my ravioli!" and those are those are pork dumplings. There was a uh, there was a jelly donuts moment where the trans I think it was a fan translation, but they called uh, they called obviously pork buns ravioli. And if it was, it's shitty fucking ravioli. Like, I looked at those and I'm like. That's ravioli. That's that's like poorly made ravioli. An Italian would look at that and go, that, "That's bad ravioli." That's a dead one. Oh man, there was like that. There was uh, Pokemon. Obviously, was the pioneer of that, where they called rice balls jelly donuts. Really insistently. Yeah. It's a real, uh, real France, California situation. We have to go right. I have a bit of an idea. I'm not. No, they can't want that. I, I'm thinking. 
The problem is that uh, these three boxes aren't activated until I get that box way over on the far right. So I need to be able to get back here. But once I'm back here, everything blows up and I can't get back to the right. You have to avoid that one that one switch and you have to hit it as you go back. I'm trying to think if there's a way that I could do like a timing thing or not, but... It doesn't seem like there's any way to do that. I'm not as uh, familiar with uh, a lot... <laughs> uh, by the way, what's the weather like down there? Uh, I have not looked outside today. <laughs> Seems all right. It's it's been chilly. Yeah, same up here. It's been pleasantly chilly. If I really can't figure this out, I might just have to skip it and look it up on off off stream. I'm real stumped right now. This isn't super liminal. That's for sure. So what is this? Act this activates those crates up there. Is there any way that I can get... I can't make this jump. Can I? Uh... I thought... I don't know what... No, I, there's I, no way. I mean, Did you maybe ever go to the far right? Did you ever go to, like, the far, the furthest right? Well, that's the end of the there? level. Oh, is it? And you, they want you to get all... So I need boxes. to do all this and then get back over there, is the thing. But doing all this, as soon as I hit the... the box that detonates all the nitros in the level, these are all gone. don't think that's the solution. Too bad. Let me try to go over there one more time if I still can't figure it out. Uh, embryo, the revival is wrong. Imagine if GLaDOS could revive subjects. How much br how much more brutal would her tests be? Uh, probably a lot. Just, you died. That sucks. Go try again. Try not to tense up. It helps. <laughs> you hit dying hurts. All we got out of Unreal Tournament. That's got, like, a lot of lore as well to the Unreal Tournament series. Yeah? About how, like, they... Not just for the, like, the revival thing, but also the fact that there are people... They have, like, a method to, like, actually resurrect people, and they become, like, a different species once they're resurrected. Okay, that one's news like, to me. sci-fi zombies. I... Necris or something, they're called? I remember there were a bunch of races that you could play as. Yeah. Because it's, like... There's like a bunch of wars, and then they use the, the Unreal Tournament as substitute for those wars. I'm sorry, that level beat me. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the the final one a shot. Maybe it'll actually be easier. Maybe it'll be just a platforming challenge. The Gauntlet. That sounds pleasant. A Gauntlet. If it doesn't require puzzles. Shit. Puzzles hurt. Strange. I don't remember this test oh chamber. my gosh, there are so many fucking skins. It's awesome. There are. There are many, many skins in this game. Uh oh. I need to activate this. I need to do a lot of things. Shit, I don't even know what I missed. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna react in a second. I don't remember this test chamber. Thank you, GLaDOS. Oh, jeez. That's a 
That looks rough. It's not too bad so far. I'm just curious what awaits me above this part. That was weird. Enjoy that when you see it. Oh, that nitro. I don't need to. I don't need to hit that all five times. I can just go around it. You ever, uh, you, you ever watched the movie Wild Wild West? No. This is a Will Smith movie. Like it's weird West stuff. And uh, weird, weird in as that, in how? Um, well, in the, in that movie, uh, at one point uh, early on in the movie. Uh, Will Smith finds himself upon a cart, and he's like looking, and he looks at the bottles, and it's like, Nitro! And he just goes, this is not the way to transport Nitro! And, and it, is, it ends up colliding with like a building, and when he's like, when he just gets off him, he's like, oh, fuck. Oh, I need to go back down for that one? Just think about that scene occasionally. Also, him... Him being a nasty bastard and bathing in a water tower. Too bad. That is a pretty you know, nasty bastard thing to do. <laughs> They're just like, what are you doing? You're bathing in a water tower? What are you? What? You, you degenerate fuck. <laughs> People have to drink your ass water. <laughs> Fucking hell. Remember you? that all the water in Hyrule has already flown through the Zora King's groin. That's fine, he's a fish. It's different. Okay. Fish are clean. Fish are always clean. I could also just not get all the crates, but it kind of just crash. Fuck that. Dora drink contaminated water, and uh, and they piss pure water. That's what that's about. Okay, that's official lore. I, I trust <laughs> you've done your research. Yeah, it's like it's like shit. The water's too pure. We can't drink this. As far as the Zora in Breath of the Wild, I don't know. I haven't gotten to that area yet. Oh, that, that looked painful. You just oh. trapped in that. I did... I, I hundred percented this game eventually, but I did it off stream, unlike the other Crash games. Just because it has been so unreasonably difficult that it would have been, it would have been like a hundred hour playthrough. A very hundred. tedious one to watch. Yeah. Unlike this, this is nice and chill. There are so many just obscenely mean hidden crates in this game. Like, the original games had a few of those, but th this, they're in, like, every level. You basically can't get them all without looking it up. And that you have to play each level multiple times to get everything. So you would say that uh, that this is a return to form for the series, then? Uh, no, this is way harder than the series has ever been. Oh, so so it's even better. This, like Spelunky 2, is exclusively for people who were really good at the original. That's that's the same thing I heard about. Uh, uh, that's what Civi said when he's like when he's like talking about uh, Doom Eternal. Was like. This is for people who found Doom 2016 to be too easy. Yeah. He's like, I know this is... He's like playing it on the hardest. He's like, oh, this is ultra violence. I kind of know what to expect. And he's like, slow your roll, Doom Eternal. This is level one. And it's just like, what do you expect? This is fucking Doom Eternal. This isn't, this isn't uh, Doom Piss Baby. It's Doom Eternal. Oh, jeez. This, this, looks, this looks like it is... So Metroid Dread came out today. Shit, I need to get on that shit. That, that, that's a game I've been wanting to play. I've heard it's very difficult compared to other Metroid games, but uh, people have 
fans of Metroid have, have enjoyed it a lot. Oh, I think it's probably more difficult. Uh, Checkpoints are generous, though. So it's like, uh, you know, brief gameplay difficulty. That's the new thing I found, because, like, uh, Kaizo hacks of uh, Mario, when they were first starting out, they were very unforgiving, like, with the checkpoints, but then, as it went on, they, like, made it so that if you die, it immediately sends you back to the sec like beginning of the section, because it's like, look, we know why you're here. Kind of makes me want to play, like, uh, Ka Kaizo hacks casually, yeah. just uh, on stream, just like, Kai Jack's Kaizo hunt. That'd be fun for that too oh that's an interesting method I gotta get I back up there again eh, eh, eh. I hate these stupid bounces I keep hitting my head on metal okay. I'm way behind but yeah oh boy I'm waiting for you to hear a scream, like, going, ah! It could happen at any time. The Gauntlet sounds like the name of a short level, right? No! <laughs> the Gauntlet? That, that was the joke. There is a, there is a, uh, a Payday 2 uh, mission called gauntlet where you have to escort like a person who is going to be sit like transferred to another like you have to rescue a person you put him in like an armored car you have to escort the slow moving armored car and like cops and special cops are just constantly attacking you and you have to occasionally move cars out of the way and and shit like that and all the while like the cops just don't fucking like let up until you get to the garage then it goes to a normal uh Cops ease off, then they attack, then they ease off, then they attack method. I think I'm at a checkpoint. Oh, they have checkpoints in this in, in these levels? They do. These little bonus sections are long enough to merit checkpoints. Okay. Oh boy, what is this gonna do? I hope I didn't need that. I probably did. Oh, for fuck's sake! That is... How are, how are you supposed to take care of that nitro? Because touching them's instant death, right? Yeah. Uh, there you... is a crate that blows up all nitros at the end of every level. Okay. <sighs> Nothing happened. Point. Yeah, you yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, I see what I see where you possibly died. Well, I realized that when I hit that crate that's going to activate the outline boxes, it's going to cover those, so I need to get those first. And I realized yeah. that a split second too late. Yeah, I actually thought that you died at the. Uh... Yeah, would have covered those. If something's adjacent to nitros, it's fine because the switch. Oh. Uh... The switch at the end will blow up all the nitros anyway. And yeah. because these aren't normal levels, they have their own little bonus rules, I only need to worry about the crate count. They went from, uh, in the original Crash games, there was one or two gem per levels. Gems per level. In this game, there are 12 gems per level. Oh, no. With uh, a bunch of different requirements. Uh... There's the insane relics, which you get for doing the Crash 1 thing, where you get every... It's a perfect run. Every box in a level without dying. And then there's the relics, the time trials things that I haven't even started yet. So those will start next time I stream this. Those, I imagine, will actually be easier, though, because the levels in this game are very, very long compared to previous Crash games. And it's mostly just... It's the Spyro 3 problem. You remember the levels got so big that it became impossible to find all the gems? 
Yeah. It's that. It's the levels are now so big in this game that it becomes exponentially harder to get every crate. I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. It's made by the same devs who did the 3DS Castlevania game. What are you, what are you talking about, Darian? Wait, you're talking about... Uh, Metroid? Ar Aria of... Oh! Metroid Dread? Nice. Oh, no! You're, you're talking about uh, the 3DS uh, Samus Returns, I think. Be right back. How do I get up there? Oh, what do I, how do I, okay. Uh, hmm. Well, no, I can't use that. That's gonna blow up. What the fuck? There's also those under there I need to get somehow. A hedgehog, or a bobcat, or a gecko, he says. Wow, those are some references. I'll scope ahead. That's what I'll use this for. Oh god, what is that? I gotta land on that... I think that's only one time. It better only be one time. I have to do three jumps on these. That's the end. We're at the final stretch, but wow, this is uh, quite a demand. Do I need to use that? No, that can't... That won't get me up there. So my current task is figuring out how the hell to get high enough for those boxes. Those guys, right up there. Maybe. Okay, I have an idea. That's my idea. That's how you do it. Wow, I can even, I can hit the ceiling. I thought I did. Guess not. Okay, so that's got one more hit on it. Mm. <laughs> I can hear myself grunting through Jack's end. Okay. I see I see what I gotta do here. I don't like it, but I see it. There we go. Okay. So how am I gonna get that? I think I know. I think I did it. I think this is the one. Now I just have to book it right, is all I gotta do. 118! Oh, I see it. Hold on. You're almost done. We should really get that escape hatch sealed. And thus Coco was abandoned for Wanda the Wombat, or whoever this is. They got some fun references in the skins. Uh, before he was Crash, the character's name was planned to be Willy the Wombat. Oh, and then he renamed himself to Crash, I guess. Oh, uh, we, th th we also got Lore. His full name is Crashworth Cortex. Crashworth, huh? And there's Willy the Wombat. He returns as, I guess, a skin in this game. Whatever these are. Is that a bat? Hold on, I'm behind. I, I, I know you are. Oh, bat crash. Floater. There's a beat up crash. That, like, su super crash. Wait, what's this one? Earn all platinum flash. Oh, okay. So I'll get that skin after I, uh, after I get the, that last level. I patch Coco. Alright, well, I said I would check out the 100% ending after I got these, but I don't have audio because I have voice, so I'll do that next time. I'll, uh, start the 
time trial relics. And, uh... That'll be my next crash stream. I still gotta finish Frogger. I'm in the middle of Book of Mario. And you're off tomorrow as well, you said, right? I am, yeah. Uh, there might be, uh... I might tonight uh, do a solo stream if you don't want to do voice with me. Uh, oh, no, I'm not doing anything else recording tonight. Fair enough. Uh, then, then I... I got a big list of stuff I might want to do, so... Yeah, we'll definitely do something tomorrow. We'll see if we can together. fit that in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me, Jack. Yep. And, Thank uh, you for having me. See you later.